This is the perfect code editor for React, Node.js or any kind of web development. And I can bet it's better than any other code editor ever exist on the planet. So we'll be using NeoVim, but this is what NeoVim looks like by default. So to make it usable or better to use, we'll use NVJAD, which provides many default configurations and setup for NeoVim. So here I will be doing this on my phone with Termux, but same method can be applied on any other platform. Just follow the instruction on NVChat documentation for installing that. So first we'll do pkg update dash y to update Termux repositories. Then we need to install some required dependencies. So execute pkg install and the dependencies dash y. And once that's installed, head over to your browser and go to nerdfonts.com. We need to use nerdfonts as NVChat uses nerdfonts icons. So here, click on download. Now here you can download any font you like. I will be using JetBeans nerdfont. So long click on that and copy its link. Now, now go back to Termux and execute wget and the link we copied to download the font. And now if I ls, here is the font in zip format. So we'll extract it with unzip and the file. Now again ls and copy the name of any one font you like. Then execute cp name of the font and this path to set up font in Termux. Now just quit Termux and open it again and that's it, not fonts is working. And we'll remove all these fonts now as we don't need them anymore. So next, head over to your browser and go to nvchad install page Go to Linux tab and copy this command. Then get back to Termux, paste it and hit enter. And here enter n for no, give it some time and it's done. Hit escape to close this window. And if you want to change the theme of the editor, hit space or leader key th and select anything you like. Now we have NVChat installed. You can use it like it is. But if you want to make it perfect, specifically for React or web development, stay tuned. Because next, we are going to set up amazing stuff like LSP, code auto format, syntax highlighting, linting, and much more. LSP which will help the editor to give features like code autocomplete, give suggestions and much more. So to set up LSP in NVChad, first we'll change directory to .config slash nvim and then just open NeoVim. Now hit Ctrl N to open file tree. Here go to Lua, Custom, chatrc.lua Now hit I to go into insert mode and here after this line write following This will make nvchad to use our custom plugins file which we are going to create Now again open the file tree and on top of chatrc.lua hit A to create a new file and, and name it as plugins.lua and then just go to that file. Now we'll go to NVChat documentation for LSP. Here copy this code and as you can see we need to paste this in our custom plugins.lua file. So go to Termux and in plugins.lua go to insert mode and return a table then paste the code we copied. Save it with Control S. 
Now again open the file tree. Hit A on top of plugins.lua to create a new file under configs slash lspconfig.lua. Go to that file. Then again go to the documentation. And here we need to copy this code. Get back to Termux and paste the code. Now go to the bottom of the file. Now you can see we have subcode here which is commented. This is very important as this will enable LSP servers for the language you want. So here we have for HTML and CSS. So just uncomment those code by removing the dash. Now we have LSP for HTML and CSS. But we also need it for JavaScript and its framework like React, TypeScript and others. So just copy this code and paste it after that. Now we'll change this LSP server name which is for CSS to TS server which is for JavaScript, TypeScript and all. And that's it. If you want to configure more LSP servers like for Tailwind CSS and other frameworks, you can check out this page and see the instruction for specific LSP servers. For now, this will be enough. So we'll save the file and now we have LSP setup. But we didn't install those LSP server we mentioned in the file. So to install them, you can install it manually with mason command or a better way is to mention them in plugins.lua file. So we'll go to plugins.lua and then again go to LSP config page and here at bottom we have this code we need. So just copy that then go back to Termux and here after this table hit enter and paste the code copied. Here we need to mention the LSP servers we need. So HTML and CSS are already there and, and we'll remove this Lua language server and style Lua as they cannot be installed with Mason in Termux. If you need them, you can install it with Termux package manager. For now, we'll add TS server or TypeScript language server here as we need it. Now just save the file, quit NeoVim, open it again. Now just execute colon mason install all and it's installing the servers. And it's done. Just hit escape to quit this window. Now to test that LSP is working, I have a react project here. And if I start typing, we have suggestions here. So LSP is working. You can also check that with colon LSP info command. The syntax highlighting is still not good as we have not installed them yet. So just execute colon ts install and these commands are case sensitive so make sure that you don't mess with them. And the language you are using. In our case we have HTML, CSS, JavaScript, TypeScript. So we'll install for them. Give it some time. Now that's look good. And also if you care about your passwords and want to keep them secure. So you can use a password manager like Passbolt. As we have multiple accounts and creating unique password for all of them and remembering those unique password is almost impossible. So here password manager like Passbolt can help you to keep your password unique, safe and secure. But here you also need to trust the password manager and that's the scary part. So with Passbolt you can self host your password manager on your own local server which can be your old PC or things like Raspberry Pi. Or if you can even use the cloud server I made a dedicated video on how you can set that up. Link will be somewhere here. Also, you can use coupon code TechnicalBot to get 20% discount. So, auto format code on save 
and knowing the syntax errors while writing the code is very helpful. So to set it up, we'll again go to plugins.lua as we need to add one more plugin to get this feature. So the plugin we'll be using is nullls.nvim and yeah, this is a fork of original nullls plugin which is now archived. So we'll add this plugin as dependency in LSP config, which is under plugins.lua file. So after this line, add following, add inside this, add the plugin, which is nullls.nv. And we also need to add these three lines as we are going to create another config file for nullls. Then just save the file. Now again open the file tree and under configs create a new file named nullls.lua. Go into that. Now here add following code. This will set up auto format and linting. Here prettier is used for serve. Here prettier is used for formatting the code and slint d for linting. If you want more you can just copy these codes and paste it again and add more linting or formatting as per you need. For now, we'll save the file and quit NeoView. Open it again and it's installing the plugin. But we have not installed that PTR and SLINT which we need for formatting and linting. So we will again go to plugins.lua and here under Mason plugin, we'll add that PTR and SLINT which we just specified. Now save the file and quit NeoVim. Open it again and execute colon mesh and install all to install those requirements. Now we are done. Here I have a React project file and here you can see we have an error. So this is because we did not have a slint RC file which is needed for linting. But creating it is very simple. Just execute this command to create a configuration file for slint and answer the questions as you need and that's it. Now if I again open the react file you can see it's giving us the syntax errors. And it will also auto format the code as soon as you save the file. So that's it for the video, you can subscribe the channel and like the video if you find it helpful. Thanks for watching.